Security cameras are there for your protection, but the truth is they can't actually stop anything. In fact, sometimes all that they can do is capture your worst nightmares as they come true. Here are the 10 scariest things caught on security cameras. Number 10 are creepy clowns. Unless you've been living a life that doesn't include online videos or social media, by now you've likely seen the clips of scary killer clowns in prank and scare videos. But while most of these masked figures are giving birthday clowns a bad name in a harmless way, simply waiting for a victim to scare with fake murders and other antics, elsewhere, like in Jackson, Florida, other more devious things are going down. Video from surveillance cameras have captured multiple characters doing far far more threatening things, such as walking onto people's property and porches while posing for the camera, and in one instance, tearing a Halloween jack-o'-lantern into pieces with their bare hands, while their psychotic grin remains frozen on their masks. Other videos show clowns making threatening gestures while staring right into security cameras, all while standing on a private home's porch. A large number of arrests have been made not just in the United States, but all over North America and the United Kingdom. It's just a matter of time before one of these clowns makes your nightmare a reality. Number 9 is an insane car crash. On July 30th, 2016, a car was traveling down a highway in DeLand, Florida, when it careened off, struck a mailbox, and then became airborne, flipping over several times before landing upside down in a parking lot at the side of the road. A security camera for a local business caught the entire shocking event, which became even more terrifying when the front end of the vehicle caught fire, sending smoke up in plumes. Witnesses grabbed fire extinguishers to put out the fire before attempting to get the sole occupant out of the vehicle, only to discover that the car was so heavily demolished in the horrific crash that they couldn't pull him through the window. Instead, the growing group of bystanders flipped the car, cut through the man's seatbelt, and managed to pull him through the sunroof. Amazingly, the man survived, but not everyone is as lucky. Number 8 is a home invasion. Our homes are meant to be our safe places, places we can be ourselves and not worry about the negative events of the outside world. But when that safe feeling is taken away, real fear sets in. On February 20th, 2017, individuals forced their way into the apartment of an unidentified business owner, assaulting him and robbing him while he bled out. A surveillance camera in the North York Toronto condo caught the home invaders on film as one shot the man in the shoulder before a second man stabbed him repeatedly in the head with a screwdriver. Four out of the five people involved in the assault, two men and two women were shortly after arrested, mostly due to one of the men still wearing his ankle monitor that he was ordered to wear after being released from prison. This random attack happened so quickly and so intensely, it makes you wonder if it could happen to you. You may want to go check that your doors are locked right now. Number seven are traffic twins. So much goes unexplained about twins. How do they know when the other is injured or killed? How can some pairs communicate without speaking? And in this case, why did both have to run into oncoming traffic together? In this shocking video, captured by closed circuit traffic cameras, two twins, Sabrina and Ursula Erickson, can be seen walking along the median between two lanes of the M6 motorway near the city of Kiel in England. As authorities approach them, they unexpectedly fleed into oncoming traffic as the pair ran out in front of cars where Sabrina was struck and suffered injuries. Shortly after, when police managed to seemingly calm the girls down at the side of the motorway, the pair broke away from them and ran back into the path of traffic, this time getting them both struck. Experts claim that the pair suffered a shared psychosis, which caused them to act erratically. A psychosis that they still cannot explain to this day. Number six is the Fresno Nightcrawler. 
Every city has their own local monster legend, and for the city of Fresno, California, that monster is the Fresno Nightcrawler. According to legend, a family was growing tired of being awakened in the middle of the night by the sound of their dogs barking at something in the woods nearby. In an attempt to determine what it was that stalked the property, they put up a security camera on their garage, only to discover that what was moving about late at night was an unusual white sheet-wearing creature that strode with legs far too long for a real person. Numerous individuals have come forward with eyewitness accounts and surveillance footage of these creatures, which have also been referred to as the Fresno aliens or stick figure aliens. Unfortunately for experts who aim to study these creatures, the footage has been lost over time. However, it's very likely that they're still out there stalking in the night. Number five is the burglar in baby's room. What could possibly be scarier for a parent than watching as a stranger who's just broken into their home stands creepily over their baby's crib? That's just what happened to one family in West Harris County, Texas on April 5th, 2014, when their baby monitor's motion-activated camera caught 18-year-old Christopher Gomez as he crept about the infant's bedroom. At one point during the disturbing footage, he's seen standing right over the sleeping baby and staring down at it. Gomez entered the house through an unlocked first floor window and proceeded to search the home with the aid of a flashlight. Authorities reported that even though the man seemed to know his burglary was being recorded on a video camera, he went about with his thieving anyway. Gomez was ultimately caught due to the anonymous family releasing the video of him and his creepy actions in their nursery. Makes you wonder how often you actually check that your windows are locked. Number 4 is Eliza Lamb's Elevator Ride. On February 19th, 2013, the naked body of a 21-year-old student named Eliza Lamb was pulled from a water tank on top of the Cecil Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. A resident of Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada, Lamb was on a tour of California while on break from school. Sadly, her tour was cut short, though no one knows exactly why. Lamb had been missing since January 31st, when she'd failed to call her parents as she'd done every day prior. Investigators released the last known images of Eliza, specifically the recordings taken via the surveillance camera in the hotel elevator, which sees the woman acting oddly, pressing several buttons though the lift doors don't close, and she's seen talking to somebody that is unseen. The footage went viral, with many claiming the dark history of murder that the hotel was the site of led to Lamb being possessed by a demented spirit. Officially, her death was ruled as an accident, although it's clear to many that something more diabolical was afoot. Number three is the Miami Zombie. For decades, the thought of a zombie outbreak has terrified millions upon millions of people, with many actually preparing their homes and families for the forthcoming zombie apocalypse. Of course, many laughed at these individuals. That is, until May 26, 2012, when a vicious attack in Miami, Florida changed things a bit. A homeless man named Ronald Popo was sitting under a tram bridge when 31-year-old Rudy Eugene approached him. Security footage from multiple cameras, including the most famous angle from the Miami Herald building, saw Eugene strip naked as he walked up to Popo and soon after viciously attacked him. After knocking the man unconscious, Eugene proceeded to consume most of the flesh from the victim's face, even eating his left eye. The unbelievable event culminated in an officer shooting Eugene dead. Given the nature of the attack, hazmat officials had to be called onto the scene, and to this day, no further explanation has been given. Number two is the ghost in the cab. 
After a massive tsunami hit Japan on March 11th, 2011, multiple drivers around the country began reporting ghostly apparitions trying to enter or in some cases floating right into their vehicles. Some taxi drivers even found that seemingly regular people got into their cabs only to vanish soon after into thin air. In this clip taken from a security camera at a Japanese taxi stop, a man is seen walking towards a car while a translucent eerie figure follows him. The ghostly image appears to be a woman with black hair who, as the man gets in the cab, incorporally disappears into the side of it. While some claim that there really is a woman there and it's simply a bad capture of her on the surveillance camera, Others point out how she seems to guide the man into the cab before vanishing completely. Next time that you think that you're alone, such as say watching this video, you may want to look around because you may not be. And number one is the ghost child. Even the most fearless individuals would likely be heading in the other direction if they ever crossed paths with a ghost, especially if that ghost was a child. Such was the case when a ghostly child was captured in the street by a closed circuit television camera attached to the UK home of Ian Hawk. In the clip, the translucent figure moves about the street and Hawk believes it's a child simply playing outside. Of course, this isn't the only time a young specter has been recorded via security footage. Hundreds upon hundreds of people have uploaded surveillance images that they say contain the ghost of children playing, walking, or even just staring at the camera. Some people believe them to be hoaxes, while others who witness the events believe them in their heart to be very real. So, as you're going to bed tonight, you may want to take one final look around your room. You may not be alone. But as always, thank you all very much for watching. On the right, you'll find two of my most recent videos that you can press or click on your screen right now if you'd like to watch more. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Sweet dreams.